Hello and welcome to this little tutorial. I want to tell you the meaning of this change things button and all the differences it makes in your area building. So as a editor of an area, you can move the furniture here and prepare everything. To do so, you need to be able to change things and you need to click the change things button. Let's just try without the button on. So my ring won't glow now. Let me just go somewhere. Try to move this furniture here. I cannot, I cannot. Like everybody else visiting your area, cannot move it unless you make them editor. Now let's switch the change things button. Now I can move stuff. I can clone it. I can build my area. Another difference, if you have placed a holdable item, like a bottle, this is holdable, I will place it here. Now, if I'm in the change things mode, where my ring will glow, then I can't really pick this up properly. I can just move it, basically. I cannot pick this up as a throwable object, for example. But if I switch back to the visitor mode, then when I pick it up, I got a proper bottle. I can throw it and it reacts to gravity and so on. But these things there on the ground won't remain here persistently. They will just disappear after some seconds. You can see that. This one, of course, is persistent. So when you're in this mode without this glowing, you're basically in the mode that everybody else will see your area in. There's a few other differences. And for example, in the normal mode as a visitor, you can laser teleport on surfaces that are upwards pointing like the ground, of course. But I cannot go to the ceiling here because that would be very realistic. But as an editor, if I click the button again, I can actually do this and I will transport to the ceiling. This can help me build my area, of course. There's another type of object which you can have as unwalkable. Let me create an unwalkable thing. Let me just do this quickly. Let's imagine this is a little ground or something. Let's give it a brownish color. So this is my little ground. I want to snap angles because the ground should be, uh, should be snapped like this. And I could also snap the position. Let me just quickly save this. I can teleport here. Everybody else can teleport here. Now, let me change this again. I context laser this with the top wave controller button there. And now I say clone. But now I click the attributes button here, the dot dot dot. And what I will do now is I will say, where is it? Unwalkable. Now I created an unwalkable object. As editor, I can still go here. You can see the receiving sphere here, like this. But if I'm a normal visitor here, suddenly I cannot go here anymore. I can still go here, but I cannot go here anymore. This is quite useful. For example, if you have a little area and you want it to be surrounded by more ground, but you don't want people to go too far astray and rather remain in your area, then you can make the surrounding um, ground unwalkable. And that's one of the differences. What else? For example, if I can change things, I can teleport right here. If I'm a normal person, a normal visitor, I cannot teleport to walls. Okay. Now one thing, if you want actually the wall to be climbable by everybody, not just editors, can let me clone it you can set it to be climbable let me do that let me save now even as a non-editor here i can suddenly teleport there this could be for example for a ladder type object that you want to do now those are some of the differences between change things or editor mode and the normal explorer or visitor or uh, non-editor mode so one thing I want to tell you also is how to add an editor to your area so that they will see the change things button as well because otherwise this part of the start dialog is hidden. 
Okay, so what you want to do is, let's say there's a person in your area and you want to make them editor, then you use the context laser and you context laser them, which brings up the profile, which looks a bit like this. And in the profile, you can click make editor here, which refers to the current area you're standing in. So Coco, I could now make an editor here, click. It would then reload for them so that they have proper rights and then they could help me change things in my area. And whenever um, I'm done preparing the area, when I put up all the holdable bottles and everything, then I can always switch back to the normal mode to test how the area works for everybody else. One more interesting attribute is the holdable attribute. Very useful if you want to create stuff that people can pick up and throw in your area. Let me quickly show you. I will create a thing. Let's make this a quick quick bottle, just like this. Let's pretend this is my bottle, okay? I will name this like this. Now I click the attributes here. Now what I want to do is holdable. This means holdable by everybody. And I will, actually there's another fun attribute, it's shatters. Okay, done. Now again, I'm in the glow mode, I'm in the editor mode, so this won't work, right? I cannot throw it and shatter it, I just move the furniture, switch it off again, and now I can throw the bottle. I hope this explains things a bit, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.